So, welcome to Hurst Place. This fantastic six bedroomed property was built for Lord Merston back in 1906 for him and his family. It offers 8,500 square feet of living accommodation and is a plot of approximately seven acres. Let's go and check it out. Come with me. So what an entrance hall we're in now with the water closet by the front door. We've got the open fireplace and look at this fantastic oaked staircase. What an entrance. And from the hallway, we're into the library, which is a fantastic room with lots of features. You've got the sash windows, the high ceilings, the ceiling rows. Have you ever spotted one that big before? And of course, the big featured fireplace. What a great room to entertain in. And then we're into the living room with its high ceilings, the sash windows again, flooding in loads and loads of light. And of course, another big featured fireplace. This is just such a great room, again, for entertaining and family life. And then we've got the French doors leading out to the patio area and the rear gardens, but we'll check that out in a little while. Let's go through these double doors and into the dining room with its fantastic wood panelled walls, this really nice bay window overlooking the rear garden. And of course, we've got plenty of space for up to 10 people to sit very comfortably around the dining table. And then we're into the TV room, which is in the centre of the property. It's a great space, even got the cinema um, screen if you want. Such a lovely area. And now we're in the study with its feature fireplace, the bay windows, and of course, the high ceilings. And now we're in the heart of the home, we're in the kitchen. Plenty of space here for separate table. It's a real working kitchen. Fantastic, lots and lots of space. And of course, lots of nice detailing as well. Just off the kitchen, we've got this lovely corridor with the boiler room, we've got two pantries, and of course the wine cellar. Come and check this out just across the courtyard. And now we've got the day staff room with its own ensuite. Just before we go upstairs, check out this fantastic oak staircase, all the storage underneath as well and all the light flooding in from these great big bay windows. So I'm up on the landing. My goodness, am I in love with this place. I love everything about it. I love all the light coming in. I love all the wood. It's just got such a great feel to it. And then further down here, we've got the principal bedroom. Let's go and check it out. So one thing I really like about this country house is it's really multifunctional. Um, we're in the principal bedroom currently, which has its own uh, ensuite and dressing room, but you also have Another dressing room to this side, which could be shut off if you want, or you could be using it as part of this main bedroom. So if you're really hot in the summer months, you've got air conditioning, as well as the featured fireplace for winter months as well. And we're into another one of the bedroom suites. You've got the ensuite, as well as the dressing room that we talked about earlier. And of course, the lovely bay windows. And 
then we're into the last part of the house which houses the bathrooms and additional bedrooms as well. So we're at another staircase now and there's a two children's bedrooms either side here as well as a bathroom. So on the raised terrace, it's a great place for entertaining and then we've got the rest of the seven acres to explore. Check this out for a pizza oven and outdoor cooking area. So we're just opposite the house now and we're in the gym. It's got its own ensuite shower room. And then if you come with me, I'll show you around the self-contained annex. So we're in the self-contained annex. It consists of your living area. You've got your kitchen. And you've got bedroom, dressing room, and finally your own ensuite. So we're at Cookham Station, which is just a short drive from the property. Here you can get a train directly into Paddington, uh, London. So we're on Cookham High Street. It's just a short drive from the property where you'll find lots of pubs and shops, boutique shops, restaurants. And they also hold, just down the road at the river here, the Cookham Regatta once a year as well. And don't forget we're close to Marlow High Street, Henley and Bray. So if you're looking for fine dining, I do recommend coming to Bray and to the Waterside Inn. The food here is fantastic. So we're at Uncle Tom's Cabin, which is just a very short drive from the property. It's one of the owner's favourite pubs and it's a great place to come and have a Sunday roast. So I've really enjoyed showing you around Hearst Place. If you would like further details or perhaps you'd like to book a viewing, do contact me on the details to follow. <laughs>